Hello guys, welcome back to a new tutorial in the series of CFX course. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to conduct a supersonic flow simulation in CFX. We are, uh, we are going to use a wing geometry to learn out the su supersonic flow. There are lots of other applications of the supersonic flow. So let's start with the agenda. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to conduct a 2D simulation. By default, there is no option for 2D simulation in the NCCFX. We can only run uh, 3D simulation when uh, we talk about technically, like we cannot run 2D simulation using the CFX. There are no, there is no programming behind that we can run us uh, three, uh, sorry, 2D simulation in the CFX. But what we can do, we can do the, we can use the symmetry boundary conditions like in this problem. If I move it a little bit, so, so if you uh, see, we are going to, uh, to use this profile and zero degree angle of attack. So at zero degree angle of attack, this profile has the same like the upper surface and the lower side of the profile so the upper side of the profile and lower side of the profile both are the similar so there exists a axial symmetry or you can say uh, if i take it this direction x and this direction as y and the upper direction as z so there exists an x y plane symmetry in this profile so how it can help we will cut out the profile sorry wing surface in the xy direction and we will take only one side in this case we have taken the upper side of the wing surface because the impact of the flow will be it is assumed that the impact of the flow is similar to the upper side and the lower side of the wing surface so that is one of the symmetry we have uh, taken into account the other symmetry we can uh, we will use like we can say the length of the uh, wing is 10 meter or 15 meter but instead of building a 15 meter long uh, wing we uh, what we have done we have taken just a small section that is 1.25 meter width so this small section we have taken into account and uh, uh, define uh, sorry we, uh, and we have defined these two walls as a symmetry boundary condition so by doing this we can run the simulation very fast in comparison if i have to build a 15 meter or 10 meter long wing surface and conduct a simulation on the whole wing so we can see the results in much lesser time also we are using the axial symmetry here so these are two symmetric boundary conditions we can use to conduct a uh, 2D simulation. That is not a, technically speaking, it is not a 2D simulation because uh, it is, has the 3D structure. Unlike the solid uh, free motors, you can say solid works that provide the separate, uh, you can say module for the 2D simulation. There is there are option to conduct a 2D simulation. There is no option in the CFX to conduct a 2D simulation because the CFX is primarily built up for the turbo machinery. So, and the turbo, uh, like the rotary flow. So, that's why it has less, like you can, uh, you can see it has less turbulence model, but all of them are high resolution. So they give very accurate results. So if I see the other agenda of the, today, we will see the supersonic flow. That is an important phenomena in engineering. So what, where we have, we can observe the supersonic flow. We can observe it in the jet planes. We can observe in the rocket propulsion and we can see it in the ventry vehicles or in the combustion engine of the jet plane or the aircraft, we can see the supersonic compression and combustion. So there is a question that what is uh, what is the difference between the supersonic flow and the normal flow? Like what we have to do are dif uh, differently. Like uh, if the air is moving with in the supersonic flow condition, what the flow changes in the flow behavior we will observe. So that is a question of today like what will be the characteristic of the air like by, uh, basically i want to ask a clear question that why we cannot use a constant density air to conduct a supersonic flow condition oh, sorry supersonic flow simulation so that is a question of today uh, i will wait for your answer in the comment so also we will see how to create the symmetric results in the post cft and do some uh, plot some graphs so let's start without wasting more time so first of all, let me delete this. I am uh, instead of this time, uh, I am not taking the complete analysis system. We can also use the component system. Like I, I'm going to use CFX from here. So now you can see there is no geometry or meshing tab on the setup and solution and then result section. Now click on edit. So there is no domain because there is no meshing. We have uploaded it. So come to the file, click on import, mesh, change the type to this one pattern natural so 
this is compact the, uh, this type is uh, compatible with the this type of the uh, format which is the dot out format of the mesh so let let me show you what uh, why i'm doing this if i click on like all types so i am going to use this so it uploaded because uh, it is uploaded because i have already uh, created the default format to this but if i will not choose it uh, by i am saying uh, when we are running the first simulation or by default there is uh, an other format that is selected so what it will uh, will do it will not uh, upload this mesh properly and it will give error uh, when you will run the simulation you will see this so let me first of all edit the default domain i am not going to create a new domain this time okay so change the material so we have to uh, one is air at 25 degrees centigrade with the constant properties but i am not going to use this i am going to use the air ideal gas click on okay in the fluid model i mean you i am using the shear stress transport model and for the heat transfer i am going to use the thermal energy uh, click on okay now if i come to the material and edit the air ideal gas so you can see the properties are not the same as for the constant gas also the thermodynamic state you can see it is defined the cp is defined and if i go to the simple like uh, let me uh, click on the simple gear if i click on edit so you can see no cp is defined the cp value is not defined for this so that is the main difference between the ideal gas and the uh, constant air so let's start with the boundary condition click on insert inlet okay we have to use the cartesian component 600 the velocity is occurring in the x direction the reference temperature is 300 click on okay now insert again boundary outlet zero relative pressure now we have to create the symmetric boundary condition there are basically three symmetry one is this side and other is this side and one is the bottom so click on insert side one change the boundary type to symmetry choose the location and click ok similarly create the other two symmetries symmetry side two click ok bottom click symmetry location and okay now again click on insert now i'm going to create one second okay so we have created in the bottom symmetry the side symmetry inlet and outlet boundary condition but if we see the upper wall if we see the upper wall of the domain in reality there is no wall like it, this is the air outside the domain there is no wall between so but the software is considering as like we cannot define an infinite domain so the software is treating this wall as a wall like there is a wall and there, there is there will be a the physical impact of this wall so how to cancel that out we have to create a wall can be boundary let me type it top so create a wall choose the location to top so we will uh, we uh, will not use the slip wall instead of we will use free slip wall so there will be no boundary con uh, boundary layer at this wall so the solution will not be uh, affected with this wall click on ok also define the wing surface as wall uh, click ok and we have to select this ok now all of the boundary conditions are defined but if we uh, you see the domain does not consist of a single body like it is divided into three sections one two and three in the in which we can see the middle section it has a very defined meshing and if we see these two sections uh, and if we see these two sections these have a uh, uh, like less refined meshing in comparison to this section because this is more uh, have more importance in the simulation the surface uh, the flow that is occurring near the surface of the wing so that's why we have created this uh, three section so we have to define a fluid to fluid interface in this th three section so click on domain interface okay fluid to fluid type there are also other uh, interface types but this time we are going to use the fluid to fluid 
click OK. Click on these three dots. We have to choose this primitive and these two surfaces. Oh, okay. Click on OK and all done. Okay, there is something. Oh, mistakenly we have used the bottom surface. No, okay, the error is being resolved. Uh, error is uh, sorry, let me cut the error. The error has been resolved. So now come to the solver control, change the iteration to 500 and turbulence numeric to high resolution to get better results. Also change the target the res residual to 1 e power minus 5. Okay. Also the time factor I'm going to use 0.1 because the velocity is very high. Okay, all done with the con solver control. Now come to the initial condition. Define with the value 600, 0, and 0. Okay. So all done with the setup. Now we have to run the simulation. Come to double precision, initial values. And I am going to use parallel processing. I can use 10 processors of my system. Okay, start run. I will see you. The simulation is completed. We have got the converged solution in 355 iterations. So let's come to the post CFT. Click on results. Okay, you can see this wireframe. Hide it. First of all, I am going to create a location. C plane 1 in XY. Click on OK. Or delete it. Uh, let's say pressure. Click on OK. XY plane variable is pressure. OK. So we can see the pressure profile. If we click on local, it's same. So now right click and click on duplicate. OK. Come to view and apply reflection about Z X plane. Click on apply. So now we have complete picture so in this symmetry we can see the full picture of the result by doing this so now we have the lower and upper surface now let me create a plane 2 of Mac numbers click on variable Mac number user spite uh, sorry user specified values minimum 1 maximum 2 click OK Hide it. Now again, create a duplicate. Come to view, apply reflection about the X. Click OK. So you can see the Mac number here. We will. Uh, we can also see the velocity, but the value is very high. So instead of a direct velocity value, we are using Mac number in the supersonic flow. So it provides a more like understandable results. Also, let me change the legend view to general okay so all done so let me create a one more thing that is new in this tutorial that is variable like i want to see the pressure effect on the surface of the wing so to do that i am going to create a variable method is expression click on vector write the expression choose variable pressure plus add the pressure of atmosphere unit the unit is Pascal click on OK instead of using the large OK the bracket I'm using the small bracket so there is no confusion between the unit bracket and the other brackets I am using to separate the things so multiply it with normal so let me copy it paste it Okay, change the variable to y and this variable to z click on apply 
so we have created a variable so come back to outline and now create a vector and select a location of wing and use the variable one click on apply so let me show the wing surface too so now you can see the pressure gradient in the form of vector like you can see the pressure is variable at the start and at the curve you can see and it become constant after that surface also if i want to see it in the upward direction what i can do come to variable and add minus value and all of these variables click on apply so now these vectors are showing in the upper direction but actual force is applying in the lower direction so if i want to create a symmetry like i want to replicate these results in the about the x uh, z x plane so what i can do for that come to location create on user surface click on ok and transform surface use the surface click on apply now what we have to do we will go here and apply reflection measuring about zx plane so one of the more surface is created let me change it the color so it's better now okay. now the same thing we have to duplicate this vector and edit it what we have to do change the surface to user surface one click apply um, three second. no no we cannot we can't do that what we have to do use the same wing and apply rotation sorry reflection about zx so now we can see the vector on the complete wing surface so okay guys that's all for today lecture hope you have learned a lot of things